What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today before we get into anything, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, I hope you guys had a great one. Whatever you celebrate, I hope you guys are having a very great season. I know that I had a great holiday season, so I hope you guys are as well. But today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Heavy Duty, the new game mode within the public playlists on Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, this game mode was put out with the hotfix to Ghost a couple days ago, and I happened to be one of the first people to play it as soon as it went live. And I must say, it is pretty fun. There are some differences to it than regular Domination, Team Deathmatch, and Blitz, but... It is a very fun game mode overall. So my first thoughts whenever I went into the game, at first it didn't seem like there was much of a health increase, but then later on when I started shooting more and I started noticing bullets registering and actually taking more damage to players, well my first thought was that it was 150% health given to players rather than the normal 100. But in all actuality it is 125% health that each player is given. Drifter did a very nice in-depth on this. He tested out the actual percentage of health and bullet damage well. Well, if you want to take a look at it from the standpoint of bullet damage, it's about 80% bullet damage rather than the 100% given in normal playlists, but we're going to stick with the 125% health. That's what you get in heavy duty. So what does that actually translate to? Well, it will take one to three more shots depending on the gun you're using to get the kill. Silencers are less viable, muzzle brakes are better, and the one thing that I really noticed while trying to get some chrome barrel kills in heavy duty was that the fact that snipers are useless, especially with chrome barrel. Chrome barrel still makes it a two-shot kill with a sniper unless it's in the head. Even with that increased damage, you're still not getting the one-shot kills. So if you're going to look for your chrome barrel kills so you can get your ghillie suit or something similar, I wouldn't recommend going into heavy duty to do that. I would just stay to the regular playlists because snipers are in fact useless in this game mode. Now with that being said, what gun class set should you use for this game mode? I would recommend SMGs and ARs. ARs I've always said from the beginning of this game because they are dominant. They're going to get you the kills at long range as well as at medium range, but SMGs, you're going to want those for the fire rate in this game mode. Fire rate is almost one of the most important things going into heavy duty because you can get more shots off, you can connect more shots, and that gives your opponent less time to actually return fire at you. So really, it depends on what map you're playing. If you're going to be sitting in a lot of tight corner situations, I would recommend the SMG. If you have lines of sight that are open but might be running through some corridors or something that are closer quarters, I just run an AR because usually in those situations, ARs can still get it done. Now with heavy duty, bringing more health, there are a lot of things that are going to be popping up in the public playlist in it. What I mean by that is new attachments and perks that you normally wouldn't see all the time. Granted, they were still there, they were still in the playlist, a lot of people still use them, but they're more popular now at this time because of the added health. Some of which include focus so that you don't lose any shots when you're in a gunfight, you don't flinch and go off target like that. It's very important not to do so when every single shot is so important. Deadeye is always a great idea to have, but it's really great in this because if you're increasing health why not increase the damage and whenever it's actually working it increases damage by about 50% for each shot taken so why not use it to your advantage. Foregrip always I use it just keeps your gun steady when you're trying to shoot it gives you less sway whenever you're aiming down sight. Steady aim is something that it's not as useful as the other ones but it still can come in handy because it is giving you that better accuracy that less sway of the gun all that stuff. So to recap heavy duty gives you 125% health if you want to put that in terms of damage it's 80 percent bullet damage it's going to take one to three more shots to kill silencers are less viable muzzle breaks or where you want to go snipers are a two shot kill unless it's in the head so i would not advise using them new perks and attachments and all that can help increase your play style your game this game mode honestly gives me a black ops 2 feel so I like it. I feel like it made up for some areas that were lacking in the game of Ghosts as is. So I'm going to be playing this probably until it goes down, which I'm hoping it doesn't because this is very enjoyable. I hope you guys do like this. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say, by the way. Let me know what you guys think about this game mode. If you do like it, let me know in the comment section down below. Any shares through Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're an OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Ghost content. I have a ton of stuff coming to you guys here in the coming future so stay tuned as again i hope you guys had a great holiday hope you guys are still having a great holiday season and as always i hope you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys later take care and peace